Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This time we're looking at the John Deere 6M series tractors which are on the in-game mod hub on all platforms which should uh, certainly please the console players amongst us. So what we've got here is a three tractor range, these are the six cylinder 6Ms. It's a 6155M on the end here which is standard as it comes in the shop. The only addition I've put on are the loader brackets. John Deere loader brackets are the only option for this tractor in the shop. And this is the standard trolley bog tire equipment. Externally look very well detailed. Everything attached as it should be. Nothing glaringly obvious wrong on the outside here. Stands out. So we've then got the 6175M, which I've put Mitas dual wheels on. There's an option. And a full set of front weights along with Starfire and GPS. Again, everything looks to be attached. The wheels aren't held in place by magnetic force, which is always good. And of course on the end here we've got the biggest tractor in the range, the 195M. So we've got Michelin wide tyres with wheel weights on. Again, they are all attached and nothing looks out of place. Interesting reflections in the wing mirrors there as we're going round. So this one, when we get the loader, does spawn a loader controller in cab, as we can see. We'll get in cab of the biggest one here. Not quite sure where we've got a black top link on there, not a green one. But there are some colour options for various things in the shop we'll take a look at. So let's hop inside here. So you'll see this has got tinted windows and star fire on it. There's one big letdown to these tractors though, in my own opinion. And that's the inside looks completely washed out colour wise. Gear levers should be orange, yellow top on PTO levers, the coloured bands on the spill levers, the orange throttle, the orange accelerator pedal. They all look black and white in here. And everything's grey instead of brown in the way of steering wheels, etc. So mirrors all work as they should do. We do have some of the new style I see on here, so I'll get that up so you can see what we've got. So you see there's a whole list to come up on the end there. It's got left control K and M. Try and remember which one is which on here. That would be back window. We have left sh shift left control K and M which is the sun visor, left shift J and N which as you can see is the right hand door and J and N which is the left hand door so that is I see there the, uh, the new style one which of course isn't most popular with PC players but at least does allow it onto console which is a big help to console players so externally light wise we have on the first press those lights second one top work lights and third one front work lights indicators front and rear and working beacons let's get it started it uses the standard in game sounds Right by its function. The dashboard lights up. Screen. Doesn't look like a GPS screen to me. Looks more like the uh, standard tractor control screen out of the R series. Would have been nice to see the GPS information on that instead of the tractor information. So dash everything lights up because as it's laid out you can't see warning lights etc. So 
Let's show leave the moves. Unfortunately, we've got the loader control in here when we haven't got the loader on. Which is another bit of a uh, letdown, in my opinion. It would be nice if that disappeared when that configuration isn't there. This one does have working dynamic hoses. Obviously, I have had 6Ms before, which have an issue with the dynamic hoses with this trailer. So I'll test how this behaves on the road. External, this tractor is great, it's internal, which lets it down. see many issues externally if any. So it looks nice enough, got working seat suspension, working pedals in the cab. Just let down by the cab interior, which is surprising. Problem to this one. So I've got the six barrel plow on. Hopefully that'll work on this tractor because it is an upgraded one now, the one we have been using. It's the update which has dynamic hoses on it, but it's also had a power upgrade at the same time, unfortunately. Before it was 170, it's now 220 horsepower needed, which is a shame. Trailer's fine, we'll try the Anderson one next to it as well. So that all goes to the correct point. Alright, let's try the front linkage out on this weight over here. nervous. Top links are, um, well, the chrome is okay. The actual top link itself looks a bit matte in texture. Not sure if that's deliberate or uh, miss really. Hoses connected up on here. I think that's all okay. So, plow swings in, it still doesn't fold around, but we have now got lights on this one. Slight problem with them. Never mind. <coughs> Not the end of the world. field. Hmm. Okay, so we had the straw harvest on here. I've got a white uh, straw swath there. So that was on the ground when we put it on here. So let's down to that one. GPS, so we'll give that a run on here as well. Let's see how we do. This 
just get this lined up. See what the GPS is up to. Nice looking tractor. Seems to work as it should do in the field. Let's keep on clearing the ground. Let's get the barge and bale out of the way. See no issues at all how that is performing there. running okay in the cab, it's running okay with GPS mod which is good let's lift the plow nice and high as it should do. Probably set a bit wide on the GPS. Looks up. There we go. Really nice looking tractors these six M's. Let's have a look at these in the shop. So they are under medium tractors. There are some colour configurations there as I mentioned a little while ago. So they're over here. So there's our standard 6155. We've got various rim colours if we so wish. Get to the design colour there. We can change the colour of the uh, Starfire Dome up there and we can change the main colour as well if we so wish so one the matte black John there or we could have it uh, just black it's not bad looking in black see there's plenty of colour options in there but uh, I tend to prefer them in natural colour, shall we say. So configuration of standard, 360 front weight, 560, 760, 1010, front hydraulics and back to standard, trolley board wheels in standard, wheel weights, wide with weights, rear twin, all round twin, and back to standard, no row crop option in there. So Michelin in standard with weights, wide and with weights, duels on the back, duels all round, back to standard. Again, no narrow stroke row crop option in there. And then Mitas in standard with weights, with the wides, with weights, rear twin and all round twins. Not yet Mitas row crop wheel option that I've seen on anything, so we won't look into that one. The configurations in here, so we've got tinted windows by themselves, Starfire with both of them and back to standard. Uh, tires, we've also got the Nokian ones, of course. And we've got a yes or no to GPS, and we've got the 6155, 6175, and 6195M. And front loader, yes or no. Don't know if we can change the colour of that, but I would doubt it. Not without changing the main colour. 
So that changes with the main colour, that one. There we are, that is our 6M600 series tractors. So, not a bad tractor at all, especially externally. Internally, however, they need a little bit of work, which is surprising that that's like that inside, given it's off the in game motto. There we are, still worth the download. As I say, just need to look at it in the inside, still with the colours. But that, for now, that's where I'm going to leave this video. So, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.